What is up YouTube now? Hey, let me tell you. Once upon a time, I used to make videos and then I stopped making videos. Hi, I hope we've all been well. I know I've started this video just off nowhere. The truth is I had honestly forgotten how hard it was to actually make content. This is actually the third or fourth time I'm making this video and god damn it is it my recorder stopped working at one point i had to switch sd cards one sd card was not reading and that's because i have been a bit rusty because i was not filming however here we are i am back where had i gone nobody asked my one something subscribers probably want to find out if you get me more subscribers we can be a lot of us we can i don't know what i want to say with that but anyways i took some time off youtube not on purpose because i ended up just doing other things and taking care of the old noggin and um yeah basically i was on a self-improvement high and basically character development life was giving me my left rights anywho yeah in between my little hiatus i embarked on a weight cut now listen first of all if you're a normal person who's uh, whose toxic masculinity has not reached to a point where they already have a certain way they want to look who do not believe that you should see abs on yourself one day kindly exit my video this is for us shallow beings who want the finer things in life which is good health and maybe a set of biceps and maybe quads the thing is when you decide to get ripped everyone always thinks they have the best genetics basically to get ripped is to remove all the body fat you have on you so you can see all the muscle you built so anyways you think that you're going to look all that nice like when you see that you've put on like 10 15 kilos in your head it registers as if you've put on like all of that as muscle no it is fat when i embarked on my cut a few things happened to me that i did not you know anticipate i did not do my research on a cut i just thought eh, just lose some weight hey it was not easy and just like that the idea for this video was born so today i am going to be discussing and or sharing with you my experience when i tried to get ripped insert title anywho now the first thing first of all i'd like to give a shout out to a few of my boys uh willie Owie, and uh, katie pale kuna sindano na zajidunga stay, stay fit with kiki same story and uh achara big man Mr. Natural, eh? Sorry, it's all in humor. Anywho, the first thing that happened to me immediately I got into this card, the first thing that was most alarming, drum rolls, please. Ladies and gentlemen, my erections disappeared. Yes, you heard it right. I could not maintain the main vein. The plantain was in pain. Mjulu bang was always on hang. I should be a rapper, maybe. Anyways, yes. <laughs> most people won't tell you this because I don't know why they don't, but... The leaner you get, especially when you start getting to single digit body fat, like in a 8%, 7%, trust me, you do not function normal down there. Nope, you do not. Now, understand this. Even eh, normal is different. So for me, <clears throat> I came down from being able to service, you know, a dozen women at a time, and now it became you know, like the usual four. I mean, who's counting? I'm Adonis. Anyways, yeah, that used to happen. And that will really screw with your head. But it's actually a very ordinary thing the lower you get in body weight because obviously the body is prioritizing surviving getting gripped essentially is dying a bit and uh yeah obviously your body is not focused on procreating as much as it is maintaining your life so that happens but that's because you do actually need a certain level of body fat and fat and essential oils and stuff like that and with your nutrition especially for you to function normal so obviously with a cut you're in a deficit if you're in a deficit not enough nutrition not enough nutrition not enough erection <laughs> my friend moving on swiftly second thing i noticed very quickly and that could be very alarming is that my sleep my sleep patterns just went to shit one day i'll sleep for 11 hours the next day i'm not i'll sleep for like an hour and then one day i'm happy one day i'm your sleep is going to definitely suffer a lot so i would like and, and obviously, much as I would like to suggest that you start using sleep aids and stuff like that, unfortunately, you can't get overused to them. And still, as you keep changing what you're doing with your body, it is going to be sadly something you fight through. But if you can survive it long enough, you do get the benefits of being ripped, which leads me to my third, my third, actually. You look fantastic. Basically, I, I actually did a, you know, took a few photos because narcissist anyways <laughs> you take a bunch of photos and uh, you look fantastic but unfortunately looking fantastic doesn't equal actually feeling fantastic your mood is all over the place as in one moment i'm happy and then i am weeping and then i am hungry and then i'm irritable it was it's just a very very it takes a lot of discipline for you to maintain being say maybe a decent individual or a kind individual especially as you get leaner but these are my experiences if yours are different 
feel free to share on the comment section this would be a good time to ask you to subscribe and i like that that came from my head i'm still recording anyways yeah yeah feel free to like share and subscribe anyways uh another thing that's one of the things i noticed with that with my mood swings and my sleep cycles everything went to shit the fourth thing that was rather alarming again is with my appetite right so when i decided to get on the cut basically i just started eating less so food was more interesting because now i was you know eating like a human being let me explain when you start when i started uh lifting weights i started as a broski basically the, the they just eat your head off until you get as much weight as you can on you i started around 58 61 somewhere there and i stopped bulking at about 74 73 there so anyways i gained quite a bit of weight obviously in my head i thought it was muscle but unfortunately it was mostly fat and that by by virtue of that i did develop an appetite so when i started my cut a few months ago say maybe january november somewhere in there i've just been cutting basically i i noticed that my appetite started fluctuating at first i i was very okay then i started going through this insane in moments of hunger and then as i dropped down actually there's several positions at 70 at 70s i was fine but i was still you know high in the appetite zone when i was at around 68 i noticed i was at a good balance where i was not too hungry i was super strong and i looked amazing and it was just good but unfortunately i kept going down and down my appetite then disappeared i just cannot eat and now i found myself at 65 kilograms and i still cannot eat so now i'm eating based off of it's time to eat so i'm trying to get back my strength so mm. But it's a very confusing period. I can see how you can you can you know develop like an eating disorder from stuff like bodybuilding. And at the end of the day, it is a bit of a disorder. Uh, the other thing, I don't think there's any particular order now, as I don't want to go on a rant. The fifth, I think, thing that happened to me was my strength disappeared. Hey, let me tell you, when you get bulky and you have no abs or you don't look aesthetic obviously you start identifying yourself with the numbers you can pull so i was i was i like lifting heavy i'm a bit of a shorter lifter so i have shorter joints meaning i'm able to push a lot of heavy weights relatively heavy you know everyone has their own things and uh yeah i started identifying myself with strength all of it went away and <laughs> everything is hard to do now <laughs> anyways everything is harder to do now and um yeah but the only solace you take from this is that maybe you look good unfortunately looking good also comes at a cost since i'm also natural i'm pretty sure some of you are not anyways um as i am natural i do look extremely small on on an ordinary day but that's because of my genetics as well so you know for me to look great in a photo or feel good it takes a lot of going to the gym and getting a pump and overeating and stuff like that but i am kind of enjoying now that my cardio is on point i am very productive i'm mentally sharp so you know it is it's good um yeah so basically the whole point of this video was as you cut if you decide to cut a lot of good comes from it but uh, maybe you don't want to go super low on in body fat because it may not be the best feeling ever and it actually might cost you all your muscle because like right now i don't have legs i have a bit but mm, i'm just lean but there's no strength to them there's barely anything there anyways as soon as i saw abs in my veins which was my way of proving to myself i can pursue i can persevere through suffering and you know that I was not preaching water and drinking wine, I've decided to start putting on back some size to go back to a weight where I feel healthy. So I'm bulking slowly and I suggest that, not bulking really, I'm just trying to put on weight as slowly as possible. I only want to put on about three kilos and I'm giving myself about three, I mean about the rest of the year, which is about six months, which is, yeah, which is relatively nice. That way I can put on more muscle than anything else. Muscle is essentially heavier. I don't want to be super big, but I think that is the end of this video because i need to go start making money and uh i do i will try and make more content aside from this and i will try start uploading more because i feel i feel like i'm at a good place mentally i am able to be more productive i have a bit of balance in life and um yeah we can go back to this youtube thing thank you anyone who sees this video decides to share it i am alive i am well i am no longer unwell down there <laughs> anyways share this like and subscribe i have been your lovely wedded bicep ian goodbye I'm okay. i couldn't maintain the main vein i tried to get jane but it was all in vain <coughs> my schwang could not hang Kiki tu chaku steady kili daddy.
My penis couldn't fit the penis. My shaft of delight became ever more slight. <laughs> Anyways, another thing I didn't mention is that I lost all my size, which is why I'm wearing this hoodie so that you cannot see how very small I am, but I'm pretty sure in the other video you have seen this. Anyways, 